Legend of Total War here, and today we're starting a new campaign series for Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer 2.1. Alright, so, let's just jump straight into this. Um, we're going to be playing as Rohan on the hardest difficulty, of course. And uh, this campaign was sort of sponsored by a few uh, Twitch um, subscribers. Uh, specifically, Niskimble and the Iron Chode, who uh, pitched in to support me to do this, because... Generally speaking, a Third Age Total War campaign on YouTube had in the past has not been effective, which is why I haven't done any since. But um, since they they pitched in, sort of to pay for the difference in income loss, I can justify doing it. I don't really recommend people, um, you know, purchase campaigns off me, but they were insistent. They really wanted me to to, uh, to do it. So here we go. Because normally what I what I want to do is just play campaigns that I want to play. And generally speaking, I'm not that interested in Lord of the Rings anymore. It just doesn't interest me. It's like something from when I was a teenager, I liked Lord of the Rings, but now I'm like, meh, you know, a bit over it. I actually prefer Warhammer, weirdly enough. Um, but, yeah, let's, let's give it a go. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I've picked the faction that I think I'll most enjoy, being Rohan. So we'll see how we go. Um, let's see. Also, if you want to, if you want to download this mod, I'll leave a link in the description for uh, for the video on and on how to install it. Because I'm not going to explain how to do it, but um, one of the developers explained it way better than I ever could. So I'll link his video in the description. All right. So what I want to do straight away, I like an aggressive start. I want to take out um, Isengard straight off the bat. With honor. So I want to get some guys here. together. Get all my forces together and go to war. Yes, my lord. Leave only what's necessary. Hang on. Piss. Your orders, my lord. With honor, your will. You can join up with him as well, command. and then we'll just recruit some else here. Forces, my lord. Yes, my lord. So, yeah, we're just going to be throwing pretty much everything at Isengard right off the bat to take host. out one of our enemies. Also, I'll be just going for long campaign victory. I will not be going for full map completion. There's absolutely lord, no point. My lord. Okay. Also, I'd like to have visibility over my domain. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Yes. This tower will keep vigil and, um, over the lands. Also, using sort of like a, a sub mod where. Yes, my lord. Um, it provides me with uh, non-copyright music, so there won't be music from Lord of the Rings in this, because obviously I can't show that, just get, just get copyright fucked. What happened here? Forces are ambushed by an independent army. Oh, great. Right off the bat, an ambush. That's kind of a dick move. Like, they had to be scripted in there. Fucking... We attack! Developers are like, they're going to want to push their forces east. We'll put an army in there to ambush them. Alright, whatever, it's fine. Looks like we got cavalry superiority, so we'll see how that goes. Unit, await my orders. Let's see how these horse archers perform. Now, if memory serves me correctly, rain in this game is absolute crap for archers. So, if we've got archer superiority, we definitely do not ever want to be fighting in rain. If we don't have archer superiority, and the enemy does, we'll want to have it raining. I'll just shoot at anything. These are clan spearmen. But it would, would be good to take out those cavalry there. They've got some archers of their own. I'll just stay back for the time being. What's he doing? Okay, stay away from him. What's these guys' missile attack? Missile attack of three. So yeah, it's not going to be piercing very much armor. What I like about, um, I guess, Shogun 2 and Beyond is how you can, like, just shift your units around. I absolutely hate that in Empire and Napoleon you can't shift them around at all. Okay, good, we managed to dodge that fully. 
I think these guys here have greater range than us, so that's a bit of a problem. So these Rohan Bodyguard, I need to know what the stats are of my units. Um, so they've got melee attack of 10, what's their charge bonus? Charge bonus of 13, total defense 29, lots of armor, that's good. And these guys here are dog shit in, by comparison, wow, they're really weak. Okay, so we want to try and leave their spearmen for last. What I need to do is separate their forces. Obviously, they're, they're considerably stronger than us. We need to, as the game suggests, divide and conquer. So maybe I'll send you around the back to try and shoot their cavalry. Because I think that's where their general is. Taking him out nice and early will be useful. Are they running towards us? No. Making them exhausted would certainly help with breaking them. If memory serves me correctly, units in 3rd Age Shadow War just do not fucking break. Especially elite units. They just refuse to break. Which is a bit of a problem because most of my tactics revolve around breaking the enemy army. So making my usual tactics worthless. Also, I'll only be committing to like a certain number of episodes. I'm going to commit to 60 episodes. If I can't achieve long campaign victory by episode 60, I'll actually say I was defeated in this campaign. Because I'm not going to make 100 episodes on this. But considering I only need 30 settlements and defeat Mordor, Isengard, and um, Dunlendings, I'd say it's a pretty good chance we could do it within 60 episodes. Because, yeah, I, I, I cannot afford to do another Seleucid campaign where, you know, episode, episode 476 of my Third Age campaign. No, I'll only have, like, ten viewers by that point. Man, these, these fuckers here. of an ambush. Right, maybe go charging into them. Okay, I'm gonna lure him away so he doesn't interfere with this. Take out those clan hunters. I reckon sending those guys in was actually detrimental to that. I should have actually just have had these guys charge in because their charge was completely negated by charging into the rear of my, my scouts. My scouts did fucking nothing there. Oh, they did, they did something. They just didn't do very much. Come on, come on, come on. A big downside to using horse archers is that they're very micro-intensive. They're not set-and-forget units. If you don't micromanage them properly, they will not be effective. Gotcha, bitch. Oh good, he just like basically rolled right over them. Okay, so the general's bodyguard, they're very goddamn. The enemy good. are badly bloodied. They have lost half good. their men. And yet the enemies still don't break. Where'd their cavalry go? You just stop for a moment. Alright, so maybe extreme heavy cavalry, like shock cavalry is gonna be the way. But then again, these are these are like really low tier units. Okay, there, there's the cavalry. Also, there's no banners in this, which I like banners. Makes it easier for me to tell what's going on in the battlefield. You know, when units are breaking, which units belong where. 
not having the banners just makes everything look messy. I don't like. There's, there's, there's a number of reasons why I don't usually play a lot of Third Age Total War. It, it's not my favorite mod. I know it's a, it's a very popular mod. I'm not saying it's a good mod. Uh, not a good mod. It's just it's really not my favorite. I prefer Stainless Steel. And like I said, when it comes to Lord of the Rings, I just find Lord of the Rings to just be a bit bleh these days, you know? But I understand its popularity. Actually, why don't we take here their general's bodyguard. Well, their, um, their Dunlending horsemen. You stay here and shoot them. And it looks like we're winning now. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. is very much in our favor. Behold go, how our the enemy so are I think utterly that went vanquished. This was I th another thing. Is that I think the AI get all kinds of cheats, like, um, like garrison scripts. I hate garrison scripts. Primarily because it's, it's like, it gives the enemy protection Lord, against stupid mistakes that they make. And, like, like, like cheaty, stupid mistakes. Um, ch cheaty bonuses. If they leave a, a major settlement virtually undefended, which the AI do all the time, you go, let's say there's one unit left in a settlement, you go and besiege it with ten units, and then suddenly, f a fucking full stack appears in the settlement. It's like, w come on. Suddenly yes, the garrison's no. way stronger than the force that was besieging it. You know, like I said, I just don't like garrison scripts. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Alright, so we want to send you yes. over here. We can go no further, my lord. A preemptive war with Isengard, I think, is crucial. We do not want them to build up. Your orders, my lord. Just leave behind my one lord. of these guys there. What can we recruit here? Enemy. Well, we've seen that scouts are not particularly very good, so Ealing Militia will go with them. Yes, my lord. Yes. So yeah, we're sending everything that we can against them. We're going for money. So at this stage here, we're actually losing money per turn, so I really do need to increase taxes. I'm going to try and capture a settlement. So it's we capture Isengard nice and early. But if we take them out pretty much straight away, it's going to put us in a really good position for the rest of the campaign. Because obviously... Your orders, my lord. Like, um, in terms of the lore, Rohan is basically annoyed by by, Ro, uh, by uh, Isengard for a good considerable chunk of the campaign. And plus, the Dunlendings are up this way. Taking out Isengard will allow us to take out the easier to kill Dunlendings. But I can't exactly just go past them and go straight for Dunlendings. I gotta take out Isengard first. If I take them out early, we should be okay. Like I said, we do not want them getting their best units. How are we going now for money? Okay, I'm still hemorrhaging cash. What am I going to do about this? This is a force. I can't afford to do that. 
that. Oh wait, it's... It doesn't have any garrison there, so actually it should be fine to do that. Let me just drop that down a bit. So we got some money. What are we going to do with it? Because I'm going to hemorrhage more than 600 a turn because we're recruiting more troops. I want you to go around and make watch towers. We need we need to take Isengard as quickly as possible. I don't mind going in, into like bankruptcy just to begin with. Because let's face it, we're going to lose a lot of men trying to take Isengard, which will free up funds. But we need to invest in our future, and I think the best way to do that is with farming. Because not only will it provide us with a small amount of money, but it will help with population growth, which is going to provide us with more money. So next turn, expect to be completely in the red. Won't be able to recruit any more than this. But that's okay. Hopefully, once we pull our troops together, which hopefully can defeat Isengard with it. Or at least land a decisive blow and uh, acquire some of their assets. There is no glory in hiding like this, my lord. Hail and well met. Right, if we, we could get a little bit of money out of them, I think that would be good. Let's just try to go for, say, 500. That'll pay for our deficit, at least. I do not think no, you all right. accept this that is all. Go away. Farewell, then. Do I have a spy? My lord. Oh, shit, I should have brought him up last turn. My lord. I'm not get over here. Approach okay, so we're not... Quietly. I shall continue Completely out of money, I thought we would yes, be. Yes, my lord. Alright. Might be able to capture that fort, but that's not going to be worth any money. Your orders, my lord. Is that what you want? So, what, what's your bodyguard? Guards of Medicild. Those look like infantry. Um. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. I was a bit too far away. Is that what you want? Yes, my lord. All right, let's let's declare war. I just want to get my troops together. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yeah, there's no more recruitment. This is it. This is all we've got now. We have to. Your orders, my lord. We have to win with this or die. With honor. Which, We've got a decent number of this cavalry, we should be fine. Keep vigil over the lands. Yes. We can go no further, my lord. This tower will keep vigil over I the lands. I'll be able to build watch towers next turn. Yes, my lord. These guys here won't be able to make it here this With turn, honor, but next turn they'll be able to we assist. We shall continue tomorrow. Your orders, my lord. Right. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my Let's lord. Get the heavy cavalry here first. Your will, Splitting our forces. Yes, my lord. It's considerable fucking troops out here. Your order. Orders, my lord. Stay back for just for the moment. Just want to reorganize this, make it nice and tidy. Oh wait, yes, um, my lord. your infantry. Oh, it doesn't matter. My lord. Your will, my lord. Yes. The way I usually your like to organize my armies lord. in terms of order: heavy cavalry, light cavalry, missile cavalry, missile units, melee infantry. Order. As you wish. Your orders, my lord. These are infantry. I'll keep them out of this battle then. Orders. Okay, so Your now will, we've put lord. in all the cavalry, I think. My yep. lord. Orders. By your command. Joining forces, my lord. Orders. Your will, Is that all the archers? Lord. Nope, we've got him in here. Yes. And then we throw in the melee infantry. By your command, your will, my lord. Merging our orders. By your command. Joining forces, my lord. Your will, my lord. They don't have great cavalry, so. Yes. 
We should send in the axes instead of the spears. And we've got a full stack here. We shall engage. Oh, fuck me. Your Can't launch the attack. Your will, my lord. Oh well. That's fine. Next turn then. My lord. We will be in pretty major deficit, but that's okay. We'll pay off our debts all in due time. This is why we need to take Isengard as quickly as possible before we go too far into debt. Seems like they've taken a region out here. I want to go straight for Orthanc. Approaching quietly. Approaching. Not well defended quietly. there. How many settlements do they have? Because from what I read, when the AI are down below three settlements, they'll get a bunch of stuff for free. Okay, so if I declare war on them, I believe a free army will spawn for, yes, my for lord. them. But they only get one. My lord. But they'll get it at some point, so... There's a possibility here for... But where's that free army going to show up? Your orders, my lord. Oh, let's find out. To battle. We have... My lord. Approaching... I think I think that's the army there. Okay, that's fine. We could potentially do a, a force draw out here. These guys aren't going anywhere. I'm gonna stick Give it to another time. I want to take out Orthanc. Take out the Isengard itself. Probably not too valuable in terms of money, although I can see gold right there, but they haven't built on it. I won't yes, build on it straight away. Sending and these guys back that blade. way. The thing is, though, we would have to take captives, and that's that's actually not so easy. Your in this. will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. All right, send a scout up my ahead. Lord. It's probably going to cause a little bit of garrison script to occur. As you wish. But marching to war. Oh, no, no, didn't. The siege, okay. Siege force. Your will, my lord. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Yeah, I need the horse archers. Orders. Yes, my lord. Maybe leave him behind because these lord. are these three are cavalry. You just stay there. Yes. Hold the river crossing. Your orders, my we'll go lord. just with the cavalry. Smash here. Smash Isengard, maybe. Cavalry should be enough for this. Let's yes, my lord. My these lord. guys move to here. There's also Letting some mercenaries. Your orders, my lord. Well, I can't afford that. Cons yes. What are the lord. stats of the Rohan riders? Your orders, my lord. They're okay. Obviously, the general's bodyguard are the best. Yes, my lord. Okay, we've, we've blocked it. Orders. Everything up here. Joining Your orders, my lord. Assembling a mighty host. Yes, my lord. Your will, my lord. As you wish, my lord. Your orders, my lord. By your command. Yes, my lord. My lord. Orders. Your will. As you wish. Emerging armies, my lord. Right, so we're taking all cavalry army and make our way to Isengard. And our infantry here hold the river crossing, so these motherfuckers here don't take Foldberg. Yes, my lord. Also, capturing these forts here might be good because it'll slow them down. They'll, they'll go for the fort. My lord. So you just put our weakest units in there. Your orders, my lord. Also give them free upkeep, which, you know, we could probably use. We're hemorrhaging cash. Yes, my lord. Alright, let's do this. We shall engage. So, doesn't give us good odds, but cavalry is usually underrated in terms of bounds of power. They have... Let's see. Just one unit of archers. What are you? Berserkers. Okay, so this is where our horse archers are really going to come in handy. But we have to take him out first. They're not going to break. Must yeah, they're going to fight courage, to the death. Men. We march if they fight to the death, we have to take out the enemy general. Because we need to... We need to release some of their troops. They'll have to capture some of the shit units. So we'll save them for last.
Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. So, let's see if we can try to shoot the enemy general. What are they? Oh, they're going to take a defensive position. Okay, this actually could be a op good opportunity to try and hit their archers. Find which fucking unit it is. Someone there. Okay. Let's get over here. Too well protected. It's not vanilla vi medieval 2. You can't just charge in there and kill archers like immediately. That's not going to work. We have to get them out of there somehow. So get them to use their skirmisher ability by feigning charges into them. They're right in the center of their unit. They're being smart about this. Went for the high ground, which obviously doesn't bother me. They're a reasonably good opening there. You, you lot just stay back for the time being. No help here, for, just for now. Okay, looks like we've got a charge coming in here. Good, right into those Urukai archers. Fuck, 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 get out of there. Okay, good, we're opening them up. That's what we need to be doing. You get back in there. You go back around over here. You like just sweat over there. I don't want to micromanage you. If they charge after you, it would be good for me. Take out those horse arch and uh, no, just take out those horse arches. Alright, pull back. You don't want to be fighting. I mean, I, I just don't want to be fighting them right now. Because we want to make sure that they, they, they're the ones that break, because they're the weakest unit. They're the ones we want to fight at Isengard. Not the units that aren't going to break. Can't really keep an eye on everything all at once. Especially when there's no goddamn banners. Like, I can't fucking tell which unit's which. Another thing that I don't like about this. I don't know why they don't have banners. They put so much effort into this mod, why didn't they make banners? Banners just, in my opinion, just make running of battles so much easier, especially if they're going to give the AI this many cheats. Um, why not some banners? Because, like, I can't tell which unit's which. Okay, we almost got rid of all their archers. Which will give us archer superiority. I know some people don't like banners, but at least give us the option to have banners on or off. I like to play with the banners. Okay, so that's done. Now, we'll take out their berserkers. Because that's their general. That went very well, though, against their archers. They barely did any damage to us. I don't think they even fired a single volley. So looking at these berserkers, how much health do they have? they got two hit points, not too much armor. So yeah, they're the perfect unit to shoot. Don't 
Don't want to put them on fire, will, because they'll just shoot at whatever's closest. They'll never catch us, they're all just infantry. Isengard has terrible cavalry, we need to use our mobility to our advantage. Shooting them in the back's also useful. There we go, getting some kills. But if we want to break these guys, it's crucial that we kill their general. Alright, I might actually put you on fire at will. If you want to shoot those, those Urukai Raiders, I suppose that's okay. Since these guys here don't have a whole lot of armor, I'm sure if we charge right into them with our general's bodyguard, we'll, we'll smash them. Put you on fire at will now. One of these. No, no, don't, don't touch them. Take out all the Urukai. Okay, General's bodyguard, charge into the Berserkers there. That slaughtered them. They're not all dead, but they're falling pretty quickly now. How many hit points do my general's bodyguard have? Just one. Okay. Release. Good tidings. Right, good. The enemy general lies dead. Try and get all my forces together because it's, it's hard to keep an eye on all of them when they're all over the place. Looks like they've only got three units left. Alright, so uh, half orc, Bane Guard. I'm pretty sure we can get these fuckers to break. And then we shoot the, um, the Urukai Raiders. Gotta keep our numbers nice and strong. So these guys here, I need to take captives. Actually, I actually only need a handful of them, but do, they do need to make, make sure they break. For the moment, the fortune there we of go, good. That's what we need. Way. We need some captives Let's to release. It remains as such. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Let's just hope my instincts don't kick in and accidentally execute them. the unit, half orc spear guard. That's okay, we've got enough captives here, we don't need any more. But yeah, obviously prioritize the Urukai, that's their best units. Maybe at the red line or something. Close to it. Why waste men when we've got arrows? Arrows are free. Well, it comes with the, with the cost. Okay, slow down a bit. You two, stop firing. Come over here. Just give them a moment, because it does take a bit for them to actually stop shooting. And you run them down, as soon as you like. Because we're fairly close to the red line, don't want them getting away. Oh, wait. It doesn't matter if some of them come back. 
The enemy are badly bloodied. It's like they have lost that gives us more men. captives. I don't I don't need any more captives now, but if we continue like this, know. we will smash If I don't the capture them, well, I still have to fight them again anyway. Okay, more or less ammunition spent. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. We could actually Time execute the captives the here, and the army would still live. But... I think I'll still release them just in case. We don't want. Oh, hang on a second. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great. This army might be sent somewhere else. This force destroyer might not work. No glory because like it's below. in the gap of Rohan, right? And even though Isengard is the closest settlement, they're in this area. Hmm. Let's give it a shot anyway. An honorable, glorious victory! Ah, oh, fucking fort. Your orders, my lord. We oh, what a disaster prevail. right there. Now I'm stuck here. From the walls. Your will, my lord. So that totally backfired there. I should have sent someone to go and capture the force. Duh. Alright, I want you to lift this siege here. To war, then. Actually, no. Maintain we siege. Have I got an idea. Orders. I wish you to send one unit Orders. down here. Victory in your name. Your will, my lord. My lord. This guy here can't move. I want you to come over here and we'll we'll siege it properly. Yes. Merging armies, my lord. Raise our banners! Siege force report. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Hopefully they'll come here and besiege this fort. With honor, my lord. Okay, orders. what is it? There's not that many units in there. I wonder if they're gonna get garrison. Okay, we got some Orders. English horse archers. Try to bring them in. Yes. We can go no further today, my lord. As you wish. Also, winning battles gives us a little bit of money, so we accumulate a little bit there. This goes yes, after me. Lord. Well, I don't have en enough money now to Yes. To build any watchtowers, but just keep them around. Orders. Your orders, my lord. We shall prevail. I don't know. If yes. that huge army comes and attacks us here, what we can do is we could fight it manually, dick them around a little bit. If it doesn't look like we're going to crush them, just withdraw. It's not, not necessarily worth a victory for, for, for nothing. Hopefully they leave these my guys lord. alone, though. So... So they can assault. Because this is where all my infantry is. Your will, my lord. Maybe even putting you on the river crossing here. Yes. Just to give them extra incentive to not annoy them. Orders. We've got to take Isengard. Take out Saruman. Alright, moving on. Excellent, they do love to assault a fort, don't they? My lord. Oh hang on, hang on. Besieged. Hang on. They didn't have enough movement to get back. No garrison script. Okay, okay. Can deal with that then. My lord. Maybe if we actually go in to make the attack, that's when the garrison script will come in. Because I know it can be fucking annoying with this stuff. Yes, my lord. You could make it over here to assist. Why don't we send your orders, my these lord? Two in. Yes, my lord.
I mean, I would be able to assault this, but I don't really care about that. That was a... We were trying to do something that didn't work. I'm hemorrhaging cash, but I'm sure once we sack Isengard... That'll make us your good orders, cash. My lord. Yes, my lord. Right, send these guys in so they can come and assist. With honor, we're combining to glory and a victorious day! Fucking piece of shit! They got some garrison script. As soon as you assault the settlement, that's when they get the garrison script. The motherfuckers. Alright, well, it's slightly in our favor. We've got mostly infantry. What have they got in here? Uruk defenders. Well, I've got some archers. They're certainly going to come in handy. Let's just do the best we can. I shall lead our forces into battle, my lord. A Troy battle would have been preferable, but we'll see what we can do here. Okay, I need to reorganize this. Actually, this is already organized. So this guy here is an archer. Alright. Let's move everyone up here. There's no towers. Do they have any missile units at all? I wonder if this acts as a tower. Alright, what I want to do is... Now, I'll put you up on the walls. If there's not too many men up on the walls, try and get the archers up there. Don't fire at will to begin with. Because what we want to do is get the archers up here. They'll have pretty good damage on enemy infantry in this area here. Alright, I want you to go knock down the gate. Okay, none of those are archers. Where's Saruman? Sticks out like a sore thumb. White on black. So... That's how you can, like, get a real view of the battle, like this. This doesn't let you zoom out that far. Right, I should get this over here. Now, I believe they can come up the walls to any point here. So, just having a look, which of these archers are better? So, missile attack three, missile. Okay, so the uh, the hemlings are. Much better archers. Our men have the Don't gate have as many units though. I wonder how they go for ammunition. Come around over here. Okay, clearly not gonna need any more rams. Oh wait. Siege towers are at the walls. Don't need any more of the uh, battering rams. So these guys over here. So Our to make them the think that the this is beast slayers. Okay, so that's the missile unit. The battering ram has done its work. Go fight them quickly before they start shooting. All right, how are you guys going to go against that? Bounce the force evenly matched. Make sure you're close by. I don't want these guys breaking on us. Cool. Okay. Archers, come over here. While they're fighting, that'll go on for a good long while. I want you to come up over here and shoot the living fuck out of these guys. Let's get the Hemlings up here first, because I think they'll do... They'll be quick at killing. You're also a Hemling, aren't you? Yeah. All I need these guys here to do is to stop them from shooting. If, even if they don't win, I'll just send reinforcements. In. No, 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 no,
Don't you shoot? You got bad angle there. These guys here have an amazing angle. Okay, we up. All right, let's take out their infantry first. Good from this angle here, slaughtering them. I only wish I had more archers. Okay, they're in loose formation. Let's shoot something else. Pick whatever's not in loose formation. How are we going so far? 3 to 8 percent. We're winning. But we've only just started. Okay, next up, I want axes up here to assist with this. No, no, no. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, I see. They were trying to get up on the walls. You come up this way. So you're almost out of ammo. Oh, fuck, you are out of ammo. Okay, just come stand over here. I don't know how often he can use this ability. But let's wait until the real fight begins before we do it. Kind of irritating that the... That their archer unit is beating our melee unit. But, you know, we're on the hardest difficulty to expect. They're gonna get lots of cheats. Alright, I want you up next. I don't know how he went for kills. Because we can use them in melee as well if we absolutely need to. They're not doing any damage at all. They're just stuck on 137. Let's have a look at the stats here. So the Beast Slayers, melee attack 4, 8. Doesn't seem particularly strong. Skilled against males, reliable in wood range unit. Okay, so five, eight. How? What are these guys ranked as? No, that's axemen. Four. Tw so this stats actually better. So four twelve as opposed to four eight. They got better um, defense, but they're losing. That's irritating. It gives you an idea of just how how much the AI cheats in this. They're already exhausted. Surely these beast slayers are also exhausted. Alright, let's not worry about that too much. Let's just finish shooting these guys. The thing is, we've also got the Urukai that need to be killed. Okay, stop. There's not that many left here, and them being in loose formation isn't really the best thing for us. So let's make an attack. You need to go take out those spears. The enemy's walls. Uh, those, I want these spears to take out their cavalry, I mean. And I want those axes. Go fight them. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. I mean, it's one thing to get victory, it's another thing to make sure that our men survive. That's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, can you. Yeah, they're not going to get into loose formation from there. Can you try and get them from that angle? I just want to try and lure these Uruk defenders down this way. This guy's here, pretty much dead to the last man. Just That's really irritating what happened there. Men of Rohan. Charge! They're acting like pikemen. Just just to stop. Stop fighting. Just don't do anything. 
That's how they're killing our men. They're acting like pikemen or wolves. I'm just looking at the way that they're fighting. Our guys can't get close. That's what's going on. Pick up your bows, countrymen. We might be better off actually skirmishing them. Be ready, archers. Attack! Oh, here's another idea. Go around their back, up here, and fight them, so that they can't fire back. They're in melee with us. Get into loose formation. We got Uruk to. Oh, thank God. How about you? Come around over here. Get into melee with them up this way. I'll get up on the wall. I'm trying to break, if you wouldn't mind. To so stop them from shooting. And then you can come in a bit closer. Why can't you come here? That way you'll be more accurate at getting rid of them. You come up on the wall now. Yeah, thanks for not doing what you're told. Come on, move it. How are we going now? Still winning. These guys here, they're pretty much going to go on. Be gone soon. She stopped them from shooting. That's the main thing. I don't expect any of their units to break. Saruman's, of course, got just too much command. I think even our guys here kind of fight to the death. You might have to be better off trying to aim for those all oh, thank god. What are their stats? Huge amount of armor, so maybe a pain. At least they're coming back down. Okay, resume resume shooting the uh, the beast slayers. There's not that many of them left now. Be ready, archers. Okay, you guys over here, pull back to this point. For the obvious reason, we want to lure these guys into a good position to smash them. To, with archers. Okay, you're up on the wall next. And how do I get you out of loose formation? You can go into melee with them now that you're out of ammo. It doesn't really matter. Try to get them to turn around. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be By attacking them in the rear, forcing them to either get attacked in the rear or get shot in the rear. Either way, they're reared. I think what we need to do here is push them forward, because yeah, they're like in a big pike formation there. Have to pull through. Because if we're just basically letting them kill our troops like that, you see that that works. Still learning how to deal with these things. All right, shoot them. So I want them rear charged. Good, you get rid of them. So yeah, that was the way to deal with those beast slayers. Pull through. Yeah. Oh god, our guys are dying quickly there. But you know, at least we're shooting these all thank god in the back. Don't want to use that just yet. We're about to send another guy up on the walls. Come down off the wall then. And you shoot, the roof defenders is dead. These, all thank God, will never break. Down 
off the walls. Hang on, we got we got more defenders coming in. Slow down. What are we up to? 27 to 38. We're not doing a great job. Like we're still winning, but the best troops are still to go. I really shouldn't be using these archers in melee. But I'll throw everything that I can to try and take out Isengard. So Uruk defenders. Yeah, they've got shields, but not from that side. to 200. You look, get in here. the general just yet, save him for last. We would have won this easily if not for the, the garrison script. Easily. Like if they were given shit units as free units, that would be one thing, but they're given bloody Urukai defenders. When all I've got is militia. I guess they they really don't want you taking Isengard right off the bat. I don't care, I'm taking it. the wall as well. Instead of being up on the wall, it might be best to go around the backs of these units and shoot them. So the balance of power is slightly in our favour. We have to keep in mind that we will still lose this if we just go full on melee. Gotta be smarter about this. Of course, the scouts, scouts actually run around quite well out here. But they're not the best trips. I'll save them for last. So what I want to do here, obviously, while these guys are engaged in melee, come round their back and shoot them. Almost at point blank range if possible. So, they've all actually got that. But I don't know what it does. It just says leadership. What does that mean? Extra morale? Any stats? Don't know. Even shooting these guys in the back doesn't properly kill them. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, don't be so sure. Let's get in the back here. Gotta be careful if they send reinforcements up this way as well. Yeah, our archers are doing a pretty good job here, but we're almost out of ammo. That's the problem. Balance of power is still not great, considering what we're doing. See, once we've run out of ammunition, we've lost our advantage. Shit, this fucking all, thank God. All thank God, medium infantry. They're really tough. Okay. Back. Let's 
So we're at an hour now, so once we finish this battle, win or lose, it's the end of the episode. <coughs> Even though there's only a few of them left, we might be shooting some of our men. If these all thank guard are still so strong that I think we should shoot them. It certainly helps shooting them in point blank range. Friendly fire is not as bad as. Enemy general lies oh, Saruman was in here. I didn't let even realize that. Let the crows have his miserable bones and let our swords have his men! Well then, that changes things considerably. Alright. With with him dead, these guys might actually break. We can't, oh, we don't even. can't even use. Shot. Oh, we can use this as many times as we want. Okay, that's good. Ah, we're breaking them. We're gonna win. Stuff. That was pretty silly of them to send um, Saruman into, into battle like that. I didn't even realize they did that. Yeah, we're definitely going to win this. Especially considering that their best... Look, what I'd do in, if I was in their position now is try to hold the uh, the town square, obviously. What are they doing? Going up on the walls is not going to help them. There's no one over here. No towers. Now, these guys here are probably quite fresh. Stay close by them. I reckon if I touch this, these guys will um, come down off the wall. Once they're like shaken or something, that's the time to, to charge into their rear. Oh, too close, too close. Ripping through us right here. Of course, I've only got early militia. Maybe we'll have to cycle charge. Yeah, see, that didn't do very much. Come on, could you not pathfind like a moron? They don't pathfind well inside of settlements. Oh, you can only use it a certain number of times, it seems. I don't even need to use you guys. Our solid charge, and they're, they're, they're shaken now. Here's our chance. Solid charge. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. No, not enough. Try again. These scouts are so weak. Come on. Alright, you come over here. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, then halve that again. Inside of settlements, they just don't perform very well. Get into formation, it's pretty simple. And then charge into their rear. They're wavering now. Charge. Alright, well at least you managed to break him. It wasn't much of a charge. Oh, 
Now we are almost out of ammo. Do not let these guys go back to the town square. Stop them. Uh, you, oh, God, almost out of ammo. So I've barely got any ammo. Shooting them is just not really going to be a very good option. Attack them here, try and lure them out this way. What the fuck are you doing? Over here. So lure them up this way so these guys can fight them. Okay, good. Now you come around their back. They're aiming for the cavalry, that's fine. I'm, s I'm worried that some of my guys are going to die, but. You know, we're, we're about to take Isengard. Oh, what is this, turn three or four? Something like that. That's going to leave them in such a weakened state, because any of the settlements that they've taken, they're not going to be able to recruit their best units, and that's their, that's their, you know, that's their major strength against us, is the fact that their infantry is so much stronger than ours. Now that we've knocked them out, well, I mean, they've still got some units left, but they can't recruit new ones. I mean, it's going to be a little while before I can really recruit anymore because I'm so badly in debt. But it was worth it to take this settlement. The Shit. battle is very much in our favour. Victory yet. will be ours. The okay, they're wavering. Time to... I should have got them into position. Good. Yeah, we win. Our men are in command of the castle. Our men no longer command the castle. And shoot him. Okay. Well, scouts just gonna finish him off. She they really don't want you sneakily capturing the settlement, do they? battle is very much in our favor. Victory. This is a clear victory. Well, it cost us a lot. It cost them more. How do we go for recovery? Uh, casualties heal. Most of those Ealing Spearmen. No, actually, all of them came... Most of them came back. Alright. Overall, I think that went reasonably well. Considering that was Isengard and they have some excellent infantry. And we have trash. Our archers did a good job. Even the cavalry managed to do a good job. And they're trash. <laughs> Take that, Saruman, you fuck. Wouldn't Your be nice if they actually eliminate the faction because they have no faction air. These lands are now yours. Uh, we won't make any money from sacking it, so I'll just occupy. So our income here, it's enough to at least start making a profit. Also, of course, our, our troops. So he's faction leader. If we go down there and kill him, that might be enough to finish them off. Then just I'm make them turn rebel. You. So I'll lift that siege yes, there, come lord. down over here, kill them, capture this. This here, that's their capital. But I know they've got another one down here. But yeah, just trying to avoid them just as much as possible. They might besiege the settlement. And if that's the case, these guys here are doomed. We'll just have to move as fast as we can. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part two's next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.